Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome and welcome back. I'm here today with another quick Saturday project. And yeah, this is it. Well, these are they. I'll show you the first one, the simplest. They're all made in exactly the same way. So this, it's a triple pocket. And yeah, very simple, very easy. It's made from a 12 by 12 sheet cut in half. Yeah, and it's just the way we then put it together that means it comes out very flat, very neat, and I'd be happy to put that in any junk journal. You might even get away with posting that with just a, yeah, first class stamp, a standard letter size stamp, not large letter. I don't know. I'll measure it and see later. So I'll show you the next one. This one's slightly different. If you can see the left pocket I've cut in half. And use the pieces to put two pockets there. I think that's my favourite. And then on this one, I've made a slanted pocket. Yeah, I've cut that off to slant. Excuse my fingers, they're inky. And I've put the other two pieces of paper there to make more pockets. And I've just mixed up the style of tabs I've used on that one. So there we have it. So we start off with a 12 by 12 sheet, cut it in half horizontally. Yeah, and here's one I prepared earlier. <laughs> so I've already done it, so I don't have to get my big chompy chopper up here. Next, get your scoreboard. Grab mine. If you're really good at folding, you won't need a scoreboard. You can just fold this into thirds. Because so all I'm going to do is score it at four and eight vertically. So that's four and eight. Same with that half. You could do the scoring before you do the cutting. Doesn't really matter which way around you do that. And we're done with chopper and scoreboard now. Put that away. Right. Next thing we're going to do is turn one of them over like that. Yeah. Then the one you're left with, get a circle punch if you want to put thumb notches in. And put it in there and there, the left and the middle. I'm using my one and a half inch circle punch. Well, that were a big notch, so we best do a big notch there. I carried away there, didn't I? Don't matter. Right, then we're going to glue this piece to that piece. Yep, yeah, like Sorry, that. I'm not sure. Well, you're not making one, are you, Gertrude? So it don't really matter. Right, I'm just going to edge of my paper's got a little bit. There you go. Yeah, I got a bit knocked while it went pad. So put glue around all three sides of that section. Yeah, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just put a bit of ink on this. I weren't going to ink this one as we went along, but I'll ink that so that you can see where to put the glue. And I'll ink that so that you can see where to place the paper. I ink those creases. Yeah, they stand out now, don't they? Yep. Right. So back to what I was saying. Glue along those three sides and then place it down just up to the crease. Yeah. Not on the crease, not past the crease, just up to the crease. Yeah. I'm going to use art glitter glue. You use what glue you want to use. You could even use, um, you could score tape or another dry adhesive like an adhesive runner it'll just mean that your pocket is a little bit smaller this one's going to be smaller because i've put this glue on so wonky while i've been talking you'll just find that if you're using the tim holtz journal cards that i use the ready-made ones you'll just have to cut them down so they're a bit narrower it's not a problem right so then place that onto there just up to the crease. I'm making sure I've got my bottom level and my top. Then that side, check that looks level. Yeah, that looks nice and level. Got a bit of glue squidging out, I'll just wipe it off. So press that down. Yeah, I went a bit mad with glue there, didn't I? But that looks like it's one of them days where I can't multitask, can't talk and do. That boards well, doesn't it? <laughs> Right, so while that's 
firming up. Turn it over now and we're going to glue that one to there. Yeah. Just fold it, make sure it's straight. So this time we're going to put glue there and there. Let's see if I can do it a bit straighter. Ooh, a bit straighter. Yeah, not three bad that one, Julie. <laughs> she says, and then does like wave at bottom. It'll, it'll stick. Ooh, I've got the te teeniest, tiniest paper cut, and it hurt then. Done a lot of folding today. Right, that's that. Now flip back this way. So those, if I bring, I'll bring this one in. They are those two pockets. I'll just ink around the notches so that they stand out. But I'm not going to make you watch me ink the whole thing because that can get a little bit tedious. There we go. Yep, so that's that. Now, I think I'm going to do the one... Do I want to do diagonal pocket or straight? I'll do diagonal one because maybe it's the one that you might be most unsure about. So I'm going to fold that over there. Make sure that's nice and straight. Yeah. And then what I need to do is cut my diagonal line. Diagonal? Is that even a word? I don't think it is, but we just made one. Right, and for this, I've got a piece of craft mat. I still don't want to cut my new one. Right. Let's have a look on the front. Oh yeah, I'll cut it so that we're not chopping the top of that C off. And yeah, I'll do it like that. So just place it on. Start just before the crease. I don't need that much craft knife out, woman. That's just a disaster waiting to happen, isn't it? Get it back in. Crazy lady. It would have just snapped. Right. And cut. I've got through both sheets. Oh, a little bit more at that end. A little bit more. I didn't do it quite hard enough. I'm doing it at a different angle on camera so you can see it. So. Yeah. Oh, that's gone up to there. That's not quite gone all the way through. So I'm going to finish that off with my scissors. Rather than risk not lining the ruler up properly to finish it with ruler. There we go. So that will be our pocket on the front. Like so. This we need to cut off. Right, so I'm going to get my big chompy Timolt scissors and I'm going to cut. I'll perhaps I have to cut some more off. I'm just cutting down the edge of the crease. Being careful not to cut that. Yeah. So then cut the crease bit off. Do it with your craft knife if you find it easier. I think I might make an awful mess if I tried that with my craft knife. I'll probably cut some that I weren't supposed to cut. That looks better. Smidging off at top. Smidging. Yeah. It's important to keep checking it from both sides, that, to make sure it's looking good. Alright, so. Yeah. Oh, we're nearly there, look. What next thing is to glue those two together. I'm going to put a thumb notch in. It shows on the front, so like that. I'll do that bit of inking. Then we need to glue along the side and the bottom. Don't need that now, missus. So that's the bottom. Sorry if I'm turning this all ways so that I can... <laughs> this without it being wonky. This is a smaller pocket. So that's that. I'll lay it flat. Turn it around now. Flat to there. 
Right. So we now have our three pockets. How easy with that? I'll just put some journal cards in to show you that they are indeedy pockets. So that's that one. That's the one where we had glue around three sides. So this is the one where I said, you, if you want to use these journal cards, you may have to make one a bit narrower. I will get it in. <laughs> oh, you're going to need to cut the length. I tell you what, get your chopper out, woman, and chop that card down. Stop struggling. So I might as well use one of uninked ones, aren't I? Rather than take two inked sides off. So let's pick one. These are the cards I'm talking about. They come in a pack and you get these long ones. That one's nice. That size. That size. And you get the teenier, tinier ones in that size. They're so handy. And they go with all the Tim Holtz paper rangers. They're, just, they're all designed just to go together nicely, aren't they? Right, so I'm going to take some off the side just to make it fit the pocket better. Also, because the height of our pocket is six inches, if we go sticking a six and a quarter inch in tag in that's glued at bottom, it is going to stick out a long way in it. So I'm going to cut that down to five and three quarters. I'm then going to redo my corners with my quarter inch corner rounder. Yeah, I think I'll cut that inked one down to the same height as well. Oh no, I want that one. I like that. We'll have that with insects on. Oh, I can live with a couple of insects these days. So that's down to five and three quarters as well. Just so I can show you something in these pockets. I know I've not gone ahead and inked it all, but without tags, it just won't look finished, will it? So that pocket is slightly wider because we've glue on two sides. So that's fine in there. And this one that I've made narrower should now fit in there okay. Yeah, that's much better. Right, I'm going to park that in there. That way. That square one. That fits perfectly. Now, these two bits of paper I've got left over, depending on how directional your paper is, depends on which way around you can put them. I think I can get away with putting that that way. So I'm just going to grab my trimmer again because I'm awful at cutting with scissors. And I'm going to cut the crease off. Yeah. So I'm basically making each pocket slightly narrower by cutting that off. I will put some thumb notches in. I'll put them together for that so that they match. And I'm going to glue one there and one there. And then our trip, well, this is a five pocket, isn't it? And you can go to town. You can get other bits of card and paper. You could use some of those journal cards, actually. You could put extra pockets all over these. You really could. You don't have to limit it to three or five. I see it depends on what you're going to put it in, doesn't it? Oh, I'm going to glue it on three sides. You can get away with gluing it on two, but I'm going to go for three. So that goes there. And because we've cut the crease off, it's already made it a little bit narrower, so it's not going to get in the way of that crease. That's that. Yes, these are they're very quick, very easy. If you're using a lovely paper, you don't need to go mad decorating it. Less is more sometimes. And that one there. So there we have it. I'm just going to put some small ones in here because we've only just glued it and I don't want it coming apart. But you could you could even put a couple in, couldn't you? Oh, let's put you in there. So that's it. A trifold, three or five pocket ephemera folio journal card, whatever you want to call it. So I really hope you enjoyed that. I hope it didn't go too quick for you again. And yeah, so I'll see you later with a flip through of my latest journal. So thank you very much for watching. Bye.